Hello there, everybody. Today we are going to be covering Class 50 of the Nepal Sports Group. Today we're going to be talking about famous athletes yet again. The first one is Messi. Messi was born on June 24, 1987, and is an Argentine professional football player. Um, he started playing soccer when he was eight years old as he joined the youth team of Newell's Old Boys. At the age of 13, he was chosen to play for FC Barcelona. He played there for 21 years, and as of right now, he's currently play he plays for PSG. Over his, over his life, he has won over um, 34 trophies, six Ballon d'Ors, and has scored over a total of 672 goals. He is considered one of the best players in the world. Hey, um, I'm Eric. So I'm doing uh, Stephen Curry. So uh, he's basic, he was born on March 14 in 1988. He's an American professional basketball player for the Golden State Warriors for the NBA. Uh, so he plays the point guard position most of the time. And he's widely regarded as one of the greatest point guards, but also one of the greatest shooters, as in he makes really accurate shots that make it into the basket for basketball. Um, so uh, he, he's, he was, um, <clears throat> he inspired teams to regularly try for like a three point shot, which is usually a lot harder to get in because it's, uh, it, it's a longer distance. Um, he's played 774 games in his whole career, and he's considered he's widely considered a legendary player, as in like um, something uh, as a as a really historical player that people will look back on. He's definitely really popular. Um, he's also famous for his short height and well, short in terms of uh, basketball standards. He's he's like six two, and um and his accuracy with shooting the ball. And those are some images of the guy. All right, I'm gonna talk about LeBron James. So he was the first overall pick in the 03 NBA draft. Uh, he won the record of year and immediately starting dominating the league and became the franchise player of the Cavaliers, uh, which is representing Cleveland. Um, currently, this is his um, 19th season in the NBA, and despite being in the league for so long, he never failed to disappoint us, and you know, always uh, was always in his prime. He is one of the greatest players of all time, and is in the goat conversation along with Michael Jordan. So here is his stats. Um, he was a deserving rookie of, uh, rookie of the year as he put up 20, 21 points. Uh, 1.6 steals, 0.7 blocks, almost six assists, and 5.5 rebounds uh, for his first year. And during his uh, career, he averaged 27 points, 7.4 assists, 7 point rebounds, 7.4 rebounds, to, uh, 1.6 steals, and 0.8 blocks in the game. Uh, as a small forward, he's a very all-around player, filling up the stat sheet in all five main ca categories. So here are his um, trophies and achievements. Uh, he is a four-time NBA champion, four-time finals, uh, finals MVP, four times uh, NBA M a regular season MVP, and uh, 17 times All-Star, uh, three times NBA, NBA All-Star game MVP, and uh, 17 All-Star selection, uh, which includes 13 first team, three second teams, and one third team. And he's also six times uh, NBA All Defense selection with five first team and one second team. And lastly, I uh, mentioned before, NBA Rookie of the Year. Neymar is a Brazilian soccer player and widely regarded as one of the best in the world. He was ranked third highest paid football uh, footballer in 2019 by Forbes and then the fourth highest in 2020 also by Forbes. He first played in the club Santos FC from uh, 2003 to 2013. From 2013 to 2017, he played in Barcelona along with Messi and Luis. In August of 2017, he was transferred to PSG, which he still plays in. He has been he has been on the uh, Brazil's national team since 2010, and he is a one-time winner of FIFA Club World Cup. 
uh, Football of the Year and also Champions League. He has been the top scorer three times and Olympic medalist once and played in the World Cup twice. Uh, I'll be doing Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth, or also called, uh, which is his real name, George Herman, was a professional baseball player in the Major League Baseball. He played 15 years with Yankees and Red Sox and won even uh, seven American League pennants and four World Series championships before retiring in 1934. He, the achievements he had made was in 1916, he made a great reputation to the audience as an outstanding pitcher, which made him into the minor league baseball. Uh, later, he won 23 games in one session and also being a member of three World Series championship teams with the Red Sox, soon uh, allowed to convert into outfield. In 1919, he broke the um, uh, Major League Baseball single season home run record. Uh, Serena Williams. Serena Williams is an American professional tennis player who is widely regarded as one of the greatest female players of all time. She was ranked number one by the Women's Tennis Association for 319 weeks, which is around six years at one point. She has won 23 Grand Slam singles titles, the second most of all time, and paired with her sister, won 13 Grand Slam doubles titles. And she has also won one gold medal at the Olympics for singles and three gold medals for doubles. In terms of money, Williams stands as the highest earning female athlete of all time, earning over 90 million in her career. And despite facing racism and threats, Williams was able to excel in tennis and become an icon of women's tennis. Uh, Roger Federer. He was widely regarded as one of the greatest tennis players of all time. He's generally popular and well liked for his uh, general grac graciousness. Uh, he was ranked, um, he's currently ranked 16 in the world by the Association of Tennis Professor, uh, Professionals, and uh, he's won 20 Grand Slam men's single titles, an all time record shared by two other people. His first Grand Slam singles title would be at Wimbledon in 2003 at the age of 21. Um, he's won the Stefan Edberg Sportsmanship Award 13 times and the Glorious Road Sportsman of the Year Award record five times. He's an active uh, philanthropist and established the Roger Federer Foundation that targeted impoverished children in Southern Africa. Hello, I'm going to be covering a little bit of a more unique sort of athlete. Uh, I'm going to be covering Dwayne Johnson. <clears throat> so, Dwayne Johnson was originally a professional wrestler, and mainly, prim primarily in his young age, he primarily made his living out of being a professional wrestler. He primarily was in the WWF, now known as the WWE, and he was, um, if you can look in the images, um, he was quite young and he was very, and he was very strong during his prime as a champion. Now he has retired uh, from the, actually, I wouldn't really say retired. He has left the scene of professional wrestling and primarily he focuses more on the acting side of his new career. However, he still does um, make appearances within wrestling shows and sometimes comes in as a announcer. There have been multiple different names of which he was called under. However, um, he now, he first, first he was referred to as um, Rocky something, but now he's just known as The Rock as he started calling himself this out of um, ignoring, so that he can ignore the backlash of which he was getting under his other name. So <laughs> The Rock mainly stemmed from his wrestling career and some of the backlash and controversy and <clears throat> from his wrestling career, especially with some of the wins and of which he was experiencing back in his prime. What ended up happening was that some people were booing him and basically telling him to fail. So in, so in response to that, he basically just started calling himself The Rock 
and would then uh, tr basically tell off fans when they berated him from the crowd. He has held the uh, ch world champion title uh, for many years during his prime and has been listed in the all-time greatest professional wrestlers um, <clears throat> with his time in the uh, league. However, ever since then, he has, ever since his um, eventual retirement, he has now been primarily focused on being an actor and fills many different roles within the acting business. But he also does also hold um, a career within as a businessman and also as sometimes he, as I've already mentioned, he does sometimes come back as a announcer. Next slide. If we wanted to talk about The Rock, we also want to talk about what he was mainly known for, which was wrestling back then. And as a wrestler, he was an extremely um, flamboyant person in the cage as he would often um, insult both the crowd, his opponents, and um, even some of the um, even some of the hosts sometimes um, during his promos, uh, because that's kind of just kind of like the attitude of which he was trying to market himself as. And for the after after he quit the wrestling uh, scene almost eight years ago, he still has come back, especially. Um, in one of the most recent ones, I believe he came back in uh, WWE with John Cena during um, the 2000, two, I believe it was 2019 year or 2018 year, he came back um, in order to host and in the, in these, uh, in the hosting method, he also had John Cena as one of the professional wrestlers in the time and there were multiple, it aired over a season and show, which allowed multiple different scenes with The Rock to occur. He still does continue to work out and his physique still, had, he has still maintained his physique from when he was a professional wrestler. And you can see many times that he does still, um, he does still hold some of the flamboyant attitude of which he still did hell. Uh, holds back when he was a professional wrestler uh, at his prime. 